Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla and I appreciate you coming by for a visit today. Every time I start recording, Phoebe is like, oh no, pick me up. <laughs> <coughs> this is Phoebe, my chihuahua. Oh, she's sleepy. <laughs> I hope you're all having a great day. And if it's hot where you are, I hope you're staying cool. I just checked in, I guess, with the heat index that it's like 106 here today. That is just crazy hot. Too hot for me. <laughs> too hot for you too, huh, Phoebe? Yeah, hot. And so, we are just trying to stay cool today. That's my main goal today is stay cool. <laughs> so, tell me what the temp is where you are and where you live in the comments below so we'll know where we should be living. <laughs> I wish it was like 70 degrees year round. Where's that at? That's where I want to move to. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I wanted to show you all a quick little make that I made. Um, my son Elijah had asked me to make this. This little snail. It turned out really cute. You want to see it? This little snail, he wanted it to put um, by his plants. So, um, it was just a quick little make. It didn't take very long to make it at all. This is made with uh, Red Heart Buff, and this is actually made with Mainstay Gold, which I don't think they make anymore. I haven't seen it at my Walmart in a very, very long time, but I do like that color and have used it for lots and lots of things. And then he's got the little antennas on top that are just kind of cute, you know? So that pattern came from this book that Wanda, no, Wanda didn't send me this one. She sent me a different kawaii book. I had ordered this one. Um, it's Kawaii Garden Crochet. Uh, I got this from Amazon. And it um, has all kinds of cute, cute plants in there. I've made a couple of the plants. Um, here's the snail. Ooh. You scratched me. There's the little snail. Um, it was a it was a real simple make, and um, <clears throat> I have a couple more plants that I'm gonna work on. I have one that I've two that I've started, and I just need to finish them up. So I'll be doing that sometime in the future. <laughs> but anyway, Elijah asked me to make this little snail to sit. Um, on the shelf with his plants and so that's what I did and he likes it so I wanted to show it real quick so I could give it to him but anyway so that was my quick little make for this weekend <coughs> I do have a large project that I'm working on Michael's seems to be continuing to um, clearance some yarn and normally my Michaels is so slow about doing that. But um, as you know, Big Daddy had went to the doctor Wednesday. And I thought he was going to pick his prescriptions up on his way home. But he did not. Um, he ended up not even going into work that evening. And so Elijah and I went to Target to pick up his prescriptions. And I um, ran into Michaels. <laughs> so... I picked up this um, this yarn here. It was clearance to two dollars, and it is regular nine ninety nine. And so I've looked at this before, but there's no way I would pay nine ninety nine for eighty two yards. Nope, 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 nope. So I did not get it before. Now this is a jumbo number seven yarn. The color weight is out of sight shades it is very bright I don't know if it's really showing how bright it is on camera there but it is very bright and um, this is a loops and thread echo tie-dye made from recycled acrylic it's only 82 yards yeah 82 yards for $9.99 is not in my budget two dollars is in my budget <laughs> So I did get four skeins of this and I'm working on a project and I've already, I'm finished using this color. 
and so you can tell that this is not a full skein anymore because I've used um, a good bit out of it. The project that I made used three skeins and some of this one. So this one's pretty floppy now. So it is a really big project, really huge, and I'm really proud of it. But I got to get Elijah to help me finish it off. Um, I'm to the point where I need his help to be able to complete the project. So I'm going to get him to help me with that this afternoon. And so I did use a 9 millimeter crochet hook with this yarn. That's what it suggested. And that's what I used on my project. So you can imagine this is a big project. <laughs> and also, guys, I wanted to invite you to join the cat parade. I did a video um, just a few days ago about a cat collaboration with all of you, all of you know my YouTube subscribers and YouTube friends. So I wanted to um, just remind you that we have one week to get our cats made and the picture sent in. Next Saturday will be the 25th. I hope I'm saying the dates right. <laughs> Next Saturday will be the 25th, and that's the day you need to have your the last day to email your pictures in. And my email will be listed below in the description box. I'll have my email there, which it's llamamamakayla.com. No, llamamamakayla at gmail.com. But I'm going to put that down there because you have to remember that llama is spelled with two L's at the beginning. <laughs> and please put cat in your subject line because Sunday morning when I go to put that together, I'm just going to search cat on my email and then all those emails will pop up so um, put cat as your subject line so the email will pop up for me but you're um, so what we're doing is we're making cats and we're sending in photos now listen you don't have to crochet a cat you don't have to loom knit a cat you don't have to needle knit a cat you can draw a cat paint a cat diamond paint a cat um, and it doesn't matter if you've already started the project, go ahead and complete it and send in a picture. Um, or if you have a project you've finished recently, it doesn't matter, you know, if you've already completed it. Go ahead and send in a picture so we can have a huge cat parade. I mean, it's going to be an awesome catwalk. I've already got lots of pictures in, and that's, that's the song that keeps coming to my head, it's about the catwalk. But um, I already have pictures coming in, and they are awesome. I love them. Now, I'm just now starting on my cat, so you're not behind. <laughs> but what I was saying is it can be a diamond painting. It can be a painting, a drawing, um, polymer clay. Hey, if you bake cakes and you bake one that's decorated like a cake, I mean like a cat, a cake like a cat, send in a photo of it. Um, you know, we're up for anything. Now, I'm doing a collaboration with April Lee from Be Wild by April Lee. Um, we both have the same Amaneko, 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 I'm not sure how you say it, book that, um, and that has some cat patterns again, and I think there's two cat patterns, a large and a small. And then, um, there's a medium cat somewhere online. I haven't looked for it yet, but Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat and Crochet. No, Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. She said there was a third pattern of it, a medium size online somewhere, but I haven't looked for it yet. But, um, so April and I are both making cats to share, you know, and we're both making our cats out of Craft Smart Yarn. And um, I think we're both making the small cat, although I do want to make a large one. I don't know that I'll have that done by next Saturday or not, but I'll have my small one done for sure. But anyway, um, so I just wanted to invite you all to create a cat, make a, make a cat. It doesn't have to be with yarn. It can be with anything. And send in those photos so we can have us a cat parade, a cat walk, whatever we're going to call it. Feline. <laughs> the feline parade. And so, um, yeah, like I said, I've gotten some photos in already. They're awesome. I'm loving them. Um, I'm going to add, if, if you have a cat, send a photo of your cat. 
why not? Let's just have go all out and have all, lots of cats, all kinds of cats. So even if you own a cat, send in a photo of your cat. That works. <laughs> I just want to have this cat parade. And so I, I'm probably going to add a photo of my son's cat, um, Monty. I almost couldn't think of his name for a minute. I'm going to add a photo of Monty. Um, you know, if you have any funny pictures of your cat doing funny things, you know, definitely send those in. And then if you make a cat, any kind, you know, send that in. But just please put cat as a subject line so I will be able to find the email. Because I'm just going to search cat. And also, um, if you want to tell me anything, you can. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put that video together and get all the information, you know, about each person or whatever, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I've got till next weekend to figure that out. This weekend, I'm working on a project with this, and then I'm going to work on my cat. <clears throat> I'm making my cat for my son, Dakota, because he is the cat lover of the family. So I'm making my cat for him. And, um... Phoebe likes cats. She loves playing with cats, don't you, Phoebe? You like playing with cats? Where's the cat? Where is the cat? Monty? Where's Monty? <laughs> she loves playing with cats. Her and Monty used to have the best time chasing each other. And so, I know she misses Monty. And I know Monty misses her. So, But I'm not getting a cat because I'm not in any kind of shape to clean up after another animal. <laughs> And do a litter box and all that kind of stuff. I'm just not, I'm not in shape to be doing that. So, got Phoebe trained and I'm good. <laughs> oh, God. So, anyway, it is a beautiful day to stay inside in the air condition and crochet. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm going to be doing today and probably the whole weekend. It's just crocheting. Um, Big Daddy's here in his chair. I hate to say that he woke up in tremendous, tremendous pain this morning. And so, um, yeah, I'm just trying to, um, you know, keep him comfortable. And I check on him every now and then, make sure he's okay. Um, and then come back in here and crochet some more. I found um, a show to watch on line and so I'm watching that and every now and then I'll you know stop watching that every every episode or so and check and see if there's any YouTube videos and watch those and just um you know hanging out doing what I do <laughs> but I'm gonna let you all get going so you can go crochet and or loom knit or knit on it or whatever it is you do um just enjoy your day, and I will be back very soon to see you all again. Bye, friends. Phoebe, you going to tell them bye? Or are you going to take a nap? You sleepy? <laughs> she likes to get up here and sleep on my shoulder, usually. And she thinks I'm just supposed to hold her and let her just sleep. <laughs> all right, friends. Bye. We'll see you all again very, very soon.